imagine being trapped in poverty and unable to protect yourself or your children from hunger, disease and exploitation. This is the hopeless situation that millions of women face in Bangladesh, one of the poorest countries in the world. In poor families, many girls miss out on a full education and are forced to marry very young. Then, often abused and treated like slaves, they are unable to free themselves from the poverty and injustice that they endure. But it doesn't have to stay this way. Food for the Hungry is helping women in Bangladesh to break this cycle of poverty and oppression. Through offering learning opportunities, we are empowering women to build a better future for themselves and their families. My name's Hosniara. Before we had a really hard life, we struggled a lot. The income we made each day was our only means of survival for that day. If we were sick or unable to work, we starved or we fasted. Because we didn't have an education, people would give us huge amounts of work to do and we couldn't protest. We were ignorant. I got to know FH when they came and visited us in 1995. They looked over our children and gave us advice on how to feed them and keep them healthy. We never understood that all human beings had equal rights, but after getting to know FH, we have learned how to communicate, understand and live happily. Hosneara is one of 6,000 women participating in our learning and savings groups. These groups are part of our strategy to help women to overcome poverty. They are providing a safe and supportive environment for disadvantaged women to discover their value and fulfill their potential. My name is Hasna Henna. I teach people who for so long did not know how to read or write. They did not know how to count or do simple calculations. At weekly meetings, women save together and learn how to read and write. They learn how to care for their children, helping to protect them from disease and sickness. They discover that they have rights and that they are worthy of love and respect. Within our groups, women can also choose to develop vocational skills and leadership skills, empowering them to have a voice in their community. Over time, as they grow in confidence, they can invest their savings, apply their new knowledge and skills, and start their own small businesses. They're able to provide for their children and transform their own communities. But today, millions of women across Bangladesh are still oppressed and trapped in poverty. Please join us in helping these women to find an escape route and the means to create a better future. With your support, more women can lift themselves and their children